let us begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the honor. Father, we give you all the adoration. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercy. Thank you for the opportunity for the new month. Thank you for the privilege that you have given to us to come and worship in your in your most holy place. We pray, Lord Jesus, that your good hand will be upon us. Wherever you are around the world, lift up your hand and worship the name of the Lord. Give him all the glory. He is God and is God by himself. He is a good, good father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift up your hand and worship the name of the Lord. Thank God for the new month. Thank him for what he has done. Thank him for what he will not cease doing. Thank you because he does not need to consult a man to get anything done for you. He is God and is God by himself. Father, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's first Samuel. In the book of First Samuel, something happened there, and I'm going to use that to pray. First Samuel chapter. One for Samuel chapter one, let's read verse nine and ten. It says, So Anna rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon the seat by the post of the temple of the Lord, and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed the Lord prayed unto the Lord. And wept. She was in the bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept. But I want us to know today that whatsoever that follow you from January to April, if you are still comfortable with it, it might extend to May. So, with the purpose why we are in May today is to pray that whatsoever that that's what we call balance carry down. In accounting, that is not going to be your portion. Every evil carried from April will go with April. It will not be. So this month is a fresh month that gives you fresh favor in all that you do. Let us pray. Father, we take responsibility, the one of Anna, and we pray that everything that brings shame and reproach and hand has come to it. In the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus mighty name we are prayed father tonight speak to us wherever we are around the world who, who, people who are watching live and people who's going to watch later i pray lord jesus you speak to us in this month of prayer let prayer be our lifestyle in jesus mighty name amen amen please take your seat holy spirit take over and prove to the enemy that you are the master shut down the pit of hell and let heaven take over in Jesus' mighty name. I welcome you to the month of May 2021. <laughs> what are you talking about, Routine? Exactly. This year, it's a done day year. We cannot be behind. That's why God said, I'm giving you speak from deniable result. Amen. This month, the prophetic thing for this month is, I am living a lifestyle of prayer. I am living a lifestyle of prayer. This morning, I want you to get set. It's going to be a, a, a speed. This month is going to be a, a month of answer. You'll be surprised. But responsibility is the key to miracle. Without responsibility, miracle will never surface. Bishop Eliko defined miracle a long time ago. He said, miracle is an art of God, but provoked by men. I can't forget it. <laughs> so, if you want to see anything happen, you have to happen. Jimron said, nothing just happened. Everything happened just. What are we talking about? This month is a month of prayer. And prayer simply means your engagement on earth to provoke the will of God from heaven. I love that. Let that be written in place. Will man be in engagement on earth? To compel heaven to do your will. Amen. And that is a structure from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 
verse 17. Pray without ceasing. I am living a lifestyle of prayer. Every Sunday, we're going to be teaching on prayer is a must. That's the teaching series that will be following on Sunday. And that is extracted from Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Jesus Christ said, he said, he spark a parable unto them to this end. The men ought always to pray and not to faint. So prayer is a must. Prayer is not what you feel like. Prayer is what you must like. Prayer is not what you imagine. Prayer is the reality. Prayer is not what you let go. Prayer is what you embrace. So today, briefly, in the next 20, 30 minutes, I'm going to be sharing with you on what I've tried to understand prayer. Isn't that simple? Two words. Understanding prayer. Not just understand it, but understand it. Let your wisdom, let the doing of God, let our God give you opportunity to be adding, adding, learn more. You cannot swallow this book. It's good. The Bible says this book of the Lord shall not depart. But this book is new every day. If you have read it 10 times, if you pick it or read it again, it's going to give you this one different message or confirm the one that you know before. So, understanding prayer. Understanding prayer. And on the subtop title, if you care, is talk to God. What is prayer? Prayer simply means taking God's word back to Him. Taking God's word back to Him. Why is that many believers are frustrated? And um, by the way, you know, I tell people only bastard will not know his father, and only an ingrate will forget his source. No matter what God has given us today, I am a full grown and uh, winner. What our father Bishop David Hooper has done in my life, I cannot quantify it. So maybe we start a ministry, or maybe we, uh, uh, people don't know what's going on, what's happening, or what is happening. That is not anybody's problem. What I need to let you know is that we as Chapel Worldwide are celebrating the 40th anniversary, and we are celebrating together. I am a winner. Everybody who knows me knows. You cannot hide it. If it is in your gene, it can never be raised from you. So, understanding prayer. And let me start. Let me even use Bishop Eide for an example. When God gave him uh, a mandate, what he started is to call people and they started what they call upper room. In the upper room, they started praying, 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 and God was revealing so many things. Most of the people who prayed then are still alive. Bishop Abuyi, Mama, Mama Fito, they, they were still very present. I want you to know, if you pray, you will see it. Prayer <laughs> is the Google of life that reveals everything that you are searching for. Prayer is a Google. Once you invoke the word of God to it, it brings out the result. What are we talking about? You have to understand prayer. Remember the teaching series is uh, prayer is a must. Prayer is not what you like or you don't like. Prayer is not what you can pick and choose. Prayer is what you will live by. Prayer is a mandatory course in the school of warfare. Let it be written, please. Prayer is a mandatory course in the school of warfare. So what am I saying to you today? This month, let it be a month of prayer. Let this month be a month of capacity to your next level. Let this month be the month of you demanding from heaven what you want him to see, what you want to see on earth. The Bible said in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, it said that this is our confidence that any time we pray according to the will of God, God hears us. I think that is what somebody should think about. Any time we pray according 
to the will of God. God hears us. God hears us. So the God that we serve is the God that answers by fire. The God that we serve is God that don't stop prayer in answer prayer. He said to God that answer prayer to him all flesh shall come. So what you are yet to pray about is what you are yet to see. Mm. Let it be written. What you are yet to pray about is what you are yet to see. If you truly you are pray about it, you will see it. If you can pray about it, you will see it. Prayer <laughs> is not <laughs> prayer is not what you neglect. Prayer, prayer is continuum. Prayer is not what you neglect. Prayer is continuum. You don't stop. You must do it. It's a continuous exercise that gives you privilege to be who God wants you to be. Somebody shout hallelujah. So 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. He said, This is our confidence. Every time we pray according to the will of God, God hears us. Somebody shout hallelujah. And we all know when the temple was built by Solomon and in second. Chronicle chapter 7 verse 14. 2 Chronicle chapter 7 verse 14. He said, If my people, which are called by my name, we humble themselves and pray. Did you see? For the evidence of your humility is prayer. So if you are not praying, you are, you are proud. Did anybody get it? The evidence, the evidence, what you can show to God and in the community of faith is that if you pray it's a sign of your humility if my people who are called by them called by my name will humble themselves we humble themselves and pray so <laughs> prayer is what reveal your level of humility you think you got it you don't need to pray about it no Everything that you got that God does not give an approval for, you will see that you will lose. So prayer keeps things. Somebody shout hallelujah. Prayer <laughs> keeps things. On that note, let me give you some five thoughts. My five thoughts on prayer. Number one, prayer is not an option. It's a must. I've said it before. Prayer is not what you just feel like, uh, I'm tired, I don't tire. No. Prayer is a must. Prayer is a must. Number two, prayer is not an idea. It's a reality. You cannot imagine that you are praying. You must pray. Because prayer is communicating to God based on His Word. And if the Word, that's why the Bible says, this book of the law shall not be part because if you don't know it you cannot use it what you don't have you cannot use your level of your accommodation of the word of god of your all your access to the word of god will determine the degree of your confidence on the level of prayer when you see some people praying 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 for hours is because what happened? They have fooled themselves in the word of God for hours. Somebody shout hallelujah. So prayer is not an option, it's a must. Prayer is not an idea, it's a reality. Prayer is not a tool. <laughs> it's not a tool that you can abandon. <laughs> it's a tool that you must carry with you everywhere you go. So prayer is not what you neglect. Prayer is a tool that you carry with you. Yes. Prayer is a tool that you carry with you. Why must you carry with you? You carry it with you because you don't know when the enemy is going to strike. But when you, you know, I just write, I just wrote a paper. There's one thing for you to get ready. It takes time. There's one thing for you to live ready. You are both time. But another thing for you to watch, to stay there, it's called, I call it stay ready. 
prayer makes you to stay ready to anything that the world is bringing to you. So today, I want you to think about it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So number four, prayer is not a joke. It's a bail out of trouble. I love this part. It's not a joke. You remember when Sarah got find herself through the manipulation of Abraham into the hand of Abimelech. Abimelech was about to have something with Sarah, but the Lord ministered to him. He said, listen, don't touch that woman. He said, release that to her husband. But he said something. He said, <laughs> I think in verse 7 or verse 8 of Genesis chapter 20, he said, release her to her husband. And because her husband is a prophet, he will pray for you. Do you see that? So prayer of Abraham bail out the house of Abimelech, the king Abimelech. You see, prayer is not a joke. It's not a meme. Prayer, it's a, it's a bail out of trouble. So wherever you are around the world, and you know there's something that is working, something is not working, begin to pray. Wherever the voice of God, a voice of men can be heard in heaven, solution will knock down, will come down. From heaven. Anytime the voice of man can be heard in heaven, solution will come to the earth. I will say it again. Every time the voice of man can be heard in heaven, solution will come down. Prayer compels God. Why are you talking about routine? It's not, it's not a teaching for today. I'm going to be teaching you know, once in this month. So prayer is the price that is paid for the change that you desire. That's what I'm going to end. Prayer is the price that you pay for the change that you for the change that you desire. What desire do you want? When Anna desired to have a baby, she, she prayed. When Daniel wanted to break out out of the limitation of men, he prayed. When there is no prayer, confidence disappears. When there is no prayer, Things life shut down when there is no prayer, limitation becomes the order of the day. So make a choice. Prayer or nothing. Nothing or prayer. Make a choice. You remember, I want you to tell you about Daniel. Daniel prayed himself into freedom. When he healed, nobody prayed for 30 days. Because he knew if the 30 day was granted, if the 30 day was granted, guess what? They're going to extend it for another one year. They're going to extend it for another three years. Anything that you permitted without praying will become a trouble that you cannot handle. Anything, any problem that you permitted without your prayer it will become a problem that your hand cannot handle. So prayer handles situation. I love that. Prayer, it handles situation. Prayer is, it, prayer handles situation. I pray that the hand of God will be upon you. And you will understand what we're talking about. So when they say, hey, nobody prays again, Daniel went into the closet and prayed. So Daniel prayed himself into freedom. Number two, Hannah prayed herself out of barrenness. So no matter what you are barren about today, if you are ready like Hannah, first Samuel chapter one verse nine to ten, solution will come. Barrenness is waiting for your prayer. The barrenness of your healing is waiting for your prayer. Everything that you can pray about, you can have. Everything that you can pray about, you can have. What shows that you are praying is the evidence in your hands. <laughs> Number three, Jesus prayed himself to the will of God. The will of God. Do you know for somebody to know that he's going to die? You know, I've prayed this before and it's heavy for some people to swallow and I'll tell you the secret. The people who killed Jesus, Paul said, they don't know what they are doing. Because it, is, it was part of the plan for Jesus to die. 
So they just help God to accomplish the purpose. If you read Genesis, uh, sorry, Isaiah chapter 53, you will know who killed Jesus, the purpose, until she died. Jesus prayed himself. He said, let the will of God, Father, please take this call away from me, but let your will be done. Luke 22, verse 42. Let the will of God be done. Early in the morning, Jesus will rise up and go and pray. After he prayed, he will know God's purpose and begin to heal people. Because prayer is taking permission from them on what to do on them. Oh, wow. I love that. Prayer is taking permission from heaven on what to do on the earth. Number one, Daniel prayed himself to freedom. Number two, Anna prayed herself out of blindness. Number three, Jesus prayed himself to the will of God. Number four, Paul prayed himself into solution. You remember when he was arrested by God and he was blinded? The Bible said in verse 9 of Acts chapter 9, he said for three days he did not eat. By the time he get to verse 11, God sent somebody to him. And when the person was arguing with God, God said, listen, you don't check him. He said he, he was praying. He was praying. So prayer compels God <laughs> to do the things that you want. Prayer is getting permission. 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 And the last one here is that this. The disciple prayed himself into boldness. The disciple, they prayed themselves into boldness. You remember when they were told that, hey, they should not pray the name of, in the name of Jesus again. In Acts chapter 4, verse 23 and verse 39. The Bible said they came to their own people. Do you see that? They came to their people and they prayed. And confidence came and they shared the word of God boldly. What I'm just trying to tell you today is just, just to give you a little here. A little day to know that everything that you need in life is in prayer. When prayer becomes the most, life comes easy. When prayer becomes a more, life comes easy. Because of time to come, I said I'm very, very, going to be very brief. So, to pray, you must have the spirit. Without the spirit of prayer, prayer will become a burden. Without the spirit of prayer, prayer becomes a burden. What a burden? A weight that you cannot separate yourself from. Without the spirit of prayer, prayer becomes a burden. And what is a weight? The, 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 what is a burden? Sorry, Burden is the weight that you cannot separate yourself from. So the question I need to ask you today. Are you ready to pray? If you are ready to pray and you don't possess that spirit, there's going to be frustration. What is the spirit of prayer, you say? Thank God you ask. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. He called the spirit of grace and supplication. The spirit of grace and supplication. You know, tonight, just a brief, that's why I call it understanding. What are the people that have prayed? Do they get results? What is prayer? I've been telling you. Why must you pray? Because that way you communicate to him to take your own demand on the earth. The spirit of prayer is called the spirit of grace and supplication. It's grace and supplication. Wherever you are around the world, I want you to know that this spirit is real. When he comes upon you, you will pray when you are tired. When you come upon you, you will pray when you are active. When it comes upon you, you will pray when you don't feel like. When it comes upon you, you will pray when you feel like. Prayer handles you. It handles you. Handles your situation. Handle your marriage. Handle your finances. Handle everything that matters. <laughs> don't forget, the Spirit is called the Spirit of grace and supplication. I pray. That today, those who have lacked the spirit, who have lacked prayer, may the spirit of grace and supplication come upon you. 
those that prayer does not matter to again by the reason of the word I've done that understanding prayer I talk to God I pray in the, in the name of Jesus many will receive the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus so when you have that spirit you pray but this is secret as you round up tonight the man that was born blind in John chapter 9 told the Pharisees and the Sadducees he said listen I don't know too much but once I was blind now I can see and they told him no don't say that he said listen no he said the Sadducees said he, Jesus was a sinner and he said listen how could somebody be a sinner and God answered him because I believe God opened my eyes and when my heart is open, it is true God. True, it is God, true man. And the man said something in John chapter 9, verse 31. He said, God does not answer sinners. Hmm. Listen, I will say that again. God don't answer sinners. There was a time I was preaching in a church. And because my words are coming like a fire. A man stood up and walked out in America. I continued. I knew he walked out because of my message. I continued. After I met with him and he said, My preaching is so tall that he cannot see himself in that environment with me. I want you to know this. You cannot set a standard for God. God set the standard. Hey, listen to this. God does not answer sinner. David said, If I have iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. And if the Lord had heard me, that means I don't have iniquity. Psalm 132, the last two verses say, Search me, O Lord, and know if there's any sin in me. Wherever you are around this world, if prayer must be your lifestyle, then you must live holy. Because without holiness, the Bible says no one can see God. So wherever you are around the world, you know you want to receive the spirit of grace and supplication. I will pray for you. You have to what? Accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. So wherever you are, because of time, lift up your left hand up and put your right hand in your chest and say this after me. Lord Jesus, I'm not yours. I know that you died for me on the third day. You rose up again that I might be justified right now. My sins are forgiven. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things have become new. Right now, I begin to live the life that Jesus has called for me. In the name of Jesus, sin will not have dominion over me again. In the name of Jesus, amen. For those who have prayed that prayer, I pray that the spirit of grace and supplication come upon you. You are separated from sin. Sin will not come near you again. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Please, we're going to give. It's open time. We're going to give our offering. Wherever you are around the world, lift up your offering. I will pray on your offering. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. This offering becomes an offering of the spirit of grace and supplication. As many who have desired this kind of a spirit to pray, to pray, to pray, let it be that today, the second of May 2021, becomes a month of solution to them. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your hand. This offering is blessed. It shall be used for the work of God. Those who want to give and don't have today, Lord bless them here. And let them come this time to live. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Please, the 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 uh the email for those who want to give online is palacechapel at gmail.com. We use that for our zeal and for our paper. Amen. Amen. May you lift up your hand and worship the name of the Lord. So Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the honor. Father, we give you all the adoration. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. This night, may it be a night of peace for you. May you never hear a strange message 
that will create unrest around you. May your sleep be sweet. May the power of Most High come upon you. May the Holy Spirit take over your life. May the joy of the Lord come upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Share the goodness, surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell as the Lord forever. Amen. Divine speed is my portion. Unstoppable result is for me. With God on my side, 2021 shall produce for me undeniable result. Congratulations. Amen. And amen. Give somebody a life back. He said, tonight is the beginning 